Stop wasting your money in Google ads doing changes without A-B testing first. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I 3X my client's revenue doing simple A-B tests, what A-B tests are, and how to know when you're winning. My name is Ted from TGQ Marketing, and I help e-commerce brands scale with Google ads. Below, I'm gonna have timestamps of all the different campaign types you can A-B test, such as shopping, search, display, and video, if you wanna hop right in. So let's take it away. All right, so when doing shopping campaign experiments, what you have to do is go to your campaigns, select the shopping campaign that you'd like to experiment on. As you can see here, this icon is the shopping campaign. Click on the campaign and scroll down to settings. And in this case, this uh, shopping campaign is bidding on manual CPC. And you can see here, it says, try target ROAS or return on ad spend to optimize for conversion value. So instead of just jumping right in, you can essentially um, try to uh, test ROAS instead of manual CPC. And you'll, say, you'll see here that it'll open up this little screen here and it will say, um, what portion of the experiment will go to. So you can set a start and end day. Typically 30 days is the best frame. Um, split it by 50%. And for target ROAS, it's saying um, 196%, which is recommended um, based on the campaign's past performance options. But you could change this depending on, uh, on how aggressive you want to be. So if we're doing this test and if you're doing target ROAS, you want to make this um, even higher and more efficient, setting it to 200% would make it more efficient. Or if you want to give Google more options to scale up, you can say, I'm fine with it being 100% for this test and have a 50-50 split and click create here. And that's how you start. A couple notes on what I just went over is that when Google does these A-B tests, it makes sure that there's no seasonality, meaning um, every Q quarter four, you might have more sales. So it makes sure the A-B test is split more evenly. So you're not having any fluctuations in the data. You should also have at least 15 conversions in the last 30 days when doing um, any test with an automated bidding, because if you have less data, Google doesn't really know who your customer is. So you wanna make sure and take that into account when doing your tests. And try to give it at least 30 to 60 days so you can really see if your test is um, actually significant and I'm gonna go a little dot, uh, deeper into what is statistical significance and how to know when your A-B test is winning or losing. So when coming up with an A-B test, you must always think of a question or a hypothesis that you might think will work better. So for in this example right here, the hypothesis is that setting the target return on ad spend to 1600 from where it was at 800 before will improve more efficiency in the account so that we can have more profitability. So that, that is the hypothesis or what you think will happen. Then based off that hypothesis within like 30 days, you'll start to get data in your account where you'll see if, if this is statistically significant based on if it's your key metric or key performance indicator or KPI. So in the case of this, to get more conversions, this KPI um, would be statistically significant enough for us to apply the experiment. If you were trying to decrease cost, the data is not significant enough or uh, in, in terms of Google's understanding of how much data it has, it's not 95% sure that this will long-term decrease your cost if that's your experiment. But in this case, since we want to increase conversions, we could go ahead and apply this and that would be added to the account based on what you're testing, what the data is telling you so far, and what it expects to, in the long term, get your results for. All right, now for smart shopping campaigns, they have a little bit of a different type of experiment type, which is under labs here in the bottom left. And this isn't ready for all accounts, only depending on, usually if you have a Google Ads account rep, or if you spent X amount of dollars, you might be in this beta program. You can go down to labs. You can see here that this feature is not available for everybody. You can click um, smart shopping experiments. So I think this is uh, very powerful because smart shopping is one of the most um, 
volatile types of automated campaigns because if you don't have the proper amount of data like i discussed before where you're not getting enough conversion volume or or google doesn't know if you'll be statistically significant this will be very helpful when actually running your test so if you click here um you can see the split selection so it'll be a 25 percent split so even off the bat they're giving a more conservative split so that you're not seeing too skewed of results and you could essentially click to edit or split this test. So smart shopping experiments. Um, you can edit the split by making it uh, even more depending on how confident or how much data you want. Typically you want to be 50, have a 50, 50 split and this will give you the results much quicker. Um, if you had more data for this, you could see like view potential, um, depending on your KPIs, I typically, re uh, go for a conversion value over cost or return on ad spend. This is the main KPI for most e-commerce e accounts. So you can essentially go in here, click the campaign that you want to run with and go through these settings here and um, run your smart shopping test, similar to how you would with any standard campaign. But as I said before, this isn't available for all accounts. All right, so that was shopping, uh, A-B testing and testing signif statistical significance. Now for search, this is much more common and um, known that can be run for lead generation or e-commerce. So these features are much more known and prominent, where we can do everything from testing promotions, ad copy, landing pages, or bid adjustments. So I'm gonna hop in and show you these now. All right, so to do a, a search, uh, campaign experiments is similar to a shopping campaign. But in this case, you're gonna go down here, campaign drafts, and that's the first thing you'll have to do is a draft of campaign. So you click here, so let's say we're gonna test um, the locations of a specific area versus one that's not. So we'll say California versus Texas. And you put a description 50 50 split between these locations. And then you click save. First, you have to select the campaign. Um, in this case, we're going to go with this search campaign. So now you're going to see a draft of what you just created right here. And that is not the created experiment because you actually have to make your changes while highlighted on this. So this will be your draft campaign, essentially. And you want to go to your location settings. And for this case, we're going to do, or we can even just do a bid adjustment. Like for the sake of this, we'll just say bid adjustment is up 50%. Now that you've made this change in the actual account for your draft, you're going to want to go to experiments and then say new experiment. And you're just going to describe what you did. Bid adjustment by location 50%. And then you want to pick a date range here. Um, like I said previously, uh, 30 days is fine. I'll keep the split 50-50%. And down here, you'll see advanced experiment split options. So search base would be essentially people could look up your business or find your keywords multiple times. And so one person can get two different results. However, if it's cookie based, if someone's been to your site already, they're going to see the other version. Um, they're only going to see the first version of the campaign and not the second if they've already clicked in the past. Um, in this case, I'd like to do search based. Um, for example, this client, they don't get a lot of multiple clicks from the same person in the same uh, sales window. So you can pick that if you're if you think people click in, on your ads multiple times, you might want to do cookie. Then you click save. And then once that's saved, it's going to uh, the experiment's going to start to populate and then start running for this expected date range. All right, if this is making sense so far, leave a comment down in the comment section about any questions you have, or if you're gonna implement any of these experiments for your shopping or search campaigns. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna make uh, display and video experiments that you can also run to upsell your existing customers, get old customers that weren't, aren't converting anymore and get them back into your pipeline, and also to split test and find out what videos are working the best for you.